Potato has failed us. He asked he asked us to fucking spam him if he was awake. So to, to get him awake. And now he's not awake. So I think we just have to go without him. Do we just go without him, chat? I think we just have to go without him. Maybe his phone fell off the table with so much vibration that it broke. I mean, look, that would be his own problem, once again. Maybe he was just that tired. I'm tired of carrying. Uh, either way, we're going to start without him. Because it's his own fault for taking so damn long. Alright, Ergot. My man. Or oh, just got into like five notifications and then gave up and started stacking them. Possibly. Repstar is very angry about Discord. <laughs> anyway, Ergot. The big Erg dog. Alright, so we've got Conqueror, Presence of Mind, Legend, Bloodline, and Last Stand. And then secondaries, we've got Taste of Blood, Ravenous Hunter. And then we've got the Double Adaptive and Armor. Now, I personally believe you should be going PTA. Everything else... It's probably fine in this tree, but in most cases, I'm of the belief that PTA is better. Now, I get why you went this build, because you're a bit crazy and you want to do that whole I am a self-draining tank guy kind of thing, and I, I get it, right? I get it. But truthfully, you should be taking Triumph. You should probably take Tenacity, depending on the enemy. And I'm okay with Last Stand as a general note, but yeah, as secondaries, I probably just go for the tank one, so Bone Plating Overgrowth. But yeah, look, <clears throat> this is a this is a very much a cheese page purely built for like just going for the life drain. Though I am wondering what on earth items you built to complement this, so I'm gonna see how this goes in a moment. So let's see how this went. Who else is nervous about this? Huh? Potato man doing his thing, you know, doing this doing this thing. We actually have sound here. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Everyone getting his DMs as well. Just give me everything for a moment. Well. Yeah, I had the same problem, actually, when I was loading it yesterday. I was, like, looking at it like, wait, is he Rumble? When he's, like, zooming along like that, you're like, fuck, he looks like Rumble with a W on. But no, it's actually just your boy, Ergot. It's your boy, Ergot. I'm having a sip. Please don't tell me it happened again, Potato. I'm going to fucking lose it if it did. So, Potato had to re-record one of his videos because it started lagging about a minute in. I am hoping it didn't happen again. Ooh, hello. It's a Warwick top. Now, I get for the early game cheese, this is fine, but you only got one CS from that. Like, what the... Oh, so if you went PTA here, this was a kill already. Now I'm mad. That was a kill with PTA. That was 100% a kill with PTA, dude. I'm actually so mad. Oh, I'm so mad. Whoa, God. The fucking lag. I mean, nice kill. Fucking, the lock camera is kind of killing me a little bit, though. Potato, do you really still play with lock camera after all this time? I mean, it kind of works because it's Ergot, so you kind of like only play in like a very small bubble. Potato, man, are you telling me this is happening again? Okay, it doesn't seem to be lagging yet. If it starts to get like worse, I'm going to have to stop, but I don't think it's going to ha keep happening. I surely don't play on lock camera. Look at you. Look, man, this is a very different set of people we're dealing with. Easy clip. I mean, who saw this coming? I'm not going to pretend I didn't see this coming for you, but at the very least, <clears throat> you should have guessed that that was going to happen, and you should have definitely warded up in spite of that. I mean, sarcastic. That's fine. 
Let Lee sink you. <laughs> I can't tell if the guy was intending to hit him on the fly or not, eh? It's just such a good cue. Can't even be mad. Predicted the yeah, look, it was, it was a lot of things. I can tell you that much. Man, Omnivamp being like granted a Doran's Blade is like the craziest move. Like, I actually just can't even believe that this is a thing. Well, at least you know Warwick doesn't have his E, and there's no one there that's going to fight you. Oh, no, the tower hit. Oh, free clap. Real shit. If you were going PTA, this would be infinitely easier for you. I feel like your aim of going Conqueror is just purely to try and drain tank in mid-game, and I get that, but I feel like you should be aiming to try and kill the target opposite you first and first. But yeah, I feel like Warwick is 100% just not playing this game. <laughs> now... The funny thing is, in my messages with Potato, he thought that this game was going to be a stomp, and then some something went wrong. So, I think we're all just waiting for that part where it just, where something goes wrong, because when he realizes how long the game has gone for at this point, he starts to really start losing his mind. So, I'm nervous, is the only way I can really explain this, is that I'm very nervous. Now, what are you building here, is the better question. Are you building what everyone else is building, or are you doing, are you doing the Gore Drinker build, like an idiot? Are you going crazy for the Gore Drinker build? Oh, wait, what? Time that? What the fuck? Bro, what is this build? I mean, it's 2-2. Two, two. So it's not like it's, like, hella huge or hella not, based off of that. See, Matt now also goes on. Yeah, I know that, but I mean, like, what's, what's he building? Like, I'm not so worried about the fact that, like, he has it. It's more the fact that, like, what the fuck is he building? I'm so confused. What could he possibly... Because, like, Tiamat doesn't go into a mythic item that I'm aware of. And if he's building Tiamat before a mythic item, then what mythic item is he going to build? And now I'm confused. Because there are many good item, like, builds you can take. This is so free. Bing! Microwave Warwick. Oh, damn, he didn't even get the cannon. Sad face. Oh, hi, Splen. Bye, Splen. Also, I'm not crazy, but I'm 90% sure you only max W first in the chunk. No, wait, never mind. Depends on the build. I was 90% sure you only, built, you only max W first in the jungle, but I think people are still just maxing Q because they're crazy for it. You should definitely be trying to kill that Lee. Kill the Lee. Kill the Lee. Kill the Lee. Okay, good. You're fine. Wait, you don't have Triumph. Fuck. You don't. No, you're not fine. Shit. <laughs> if you had Triumph, you would have won. Fuck. Oh, uh, what are you building? Gordrigger? Oh, shit. This is going to be one of these cheesy ass builds. Damn it, Potato. Oh, hey, Sloppy Warriors. How you doing, man? Been a while. Still, still maining Gragas? That item works on Urgot. Look, Gordrigger is okay on Urgot, but there are better item builds to, like, work with. So, for those who are asking, my... Well, they didn't get Dragon off that. Plus, the enemy has Jin. I can't see this going very well for y'all. This is going to be a very long game. I can feel it. Of the team's six kills, you have four of them. This is not good. I'm very nervous about this. His bot lane is not going well. His jungler is trying his best, but it's not going particularly well. The Katarina's trolling and tilted. Oh, shit. The Katarina's very toxic. E second? Now, people were maxing Q still because they're still uh, living in the past, but W is still the better play. What do you lose this? Gold 4, Silver 1. You should always go PTA. 
always. But people are still like maxing Q sometimes just to try and like get the poke. We what? Oh no! Oh, he ulti drew the. <laughs> this is such a stupid game. <laughs> oh, that was so silly. Oh god. So for those that don't understand what happened there, Warwick altered while he was being dragged. So he didn't actually get the drag, but unfortunately he put himself back in harm's way and got himself killed. Also, Potato, it might be good if you don't, like, do anything in the background while you're trying to record these videos. That that Warwick actually could have done the outplay of the century if he actually, like, are the opposite direction. But unfortunately, yeah, he tried to go for the, for the kill under the tower. Please don't do this. I'm trying to figure out what on earth you're supposed to max second. I could have sworn it was still cube, wasn't it? Or is it E second? No, it's Q still, right? I swear it's still Q. Unless he's... I swear he's following the jungle build. Where, like, you go W, then E. But I still feel like... Ugh. Oh, this was such a silly play. Like, just... just... Oh, this hurts. This actually hurts. It's only made worse by the fact that you actually have, like, the wrong fucking... Oh, this would be so easy for you if you just had Triumph. For starters, just please, please the triumph, please. And now the item build doesn't make it any easier to... What are you building, man? I'm just going to... Okay, I'm going to make this clear, right? That what you're supposed to build on Urgot, the better items to build on Urgot are as follows. No matter what build you're going, you always need a black cleaver in the build, right? That's that's the first thing. But the better items to build on Urgot are Kraken Slayer, Divine Sunderer, or Eclipse. They're all better in every way. It is E second? Okay. I've I've seen I swear the jungle build is E second, not the top lane build. I thought the top lane build was WQ. Yeah, so you don't even need to ulti that. The classic build. The classic build. The El Clasico of builds. But yeah, as far as I'm aware, like Kraken Slayer, um, Kraken Slayer, Divine Sunderer, and uh, Eclipse all work better for Urgot. Dead set. Gore, Gore Drinker is a cheese build. This is 100% a cheese build. Like, there's no universe where I'm going to accept otherwise, but this is a free tower, or at least a free plate. The guy's teleporting back into his death. Are you going to dive him? Oh, pfft. This is just silly. You shouldn't have even fought that. You should have just waited for his shit to come off and then wait for him to come out and then kill him with EQ. I say EQ because W should just always be on at this point. There's no reason to just not have anything. Like, in any fight you're going to take, you'll just always have W on. No, 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 Everything with that play was wrong. Okay, first things first. You kill him without using your ulti. Seriously. Do not ulti this. That pause actually fucks you up even harder because you can literally kill him with the auto. Now, you want to weave an auto every three clicks of a, uh, this W. Yeah, look, that's fine, but he didn't either, right? Maybe he ultied for the fear. The fear won't count for shit if the Warwick dies outside of it. He doesn't get the, the passive from it. So he wasted the ult. Don't most people just go for Gore. I have not seen any pro player go for Gore Drinker. I've seen, like, maybe Urgot one tricks go for it, but most pros that I'm aware of that, like, exist in the world, they either go Prowler's Claw, which I understand why they go Prowler's Claw, but I think it's a bit cheesy, um, or they go Kraken Slayer, or a Divine Thunder, or, or Eclipse. They're all, like, builds I've seen. I feel like as long as you have the Black Cleaver, nothing fucking matters. But yeah, if he had his ulti for this, he actually could have killed Lee, but the problem is he actually dies is too close to the tower anyway, and dies no matter what. So, everything about this was wrong. Everything about this play was just wrong. In so many levels. Now, if he had Gore Drinker, there's a possibility that he would live through that. But again, I don't I don't agree with the Gore Drinker build, because it requires you to already be inside the fight, and Urgot doesn't need that. If Urgot's inside the fight, he's already killed somebody at that point. He still won the advantage to an advance to an extent, yes. Why do your frames keep dying so hard, potato? Apparently, his computer has become a potato as well. 
But yeah, you got to use those shotgun legs to full extent, or else you're not going to get a very good win here. <clears throat> Finish it. Just finish it. Go. I say he's backing off. There's no reason why you shouldn't just take the tower there. I think he died before getting hit by a tower shot. True, but he took two tower shots prior to by going too close anyway, which made me annoyed. I'm still annoyed about him playing that close to the tower against Warwick by default because Warwick can do all of this to him. Even if that Warwick is literally like trash tier. There's no reason for him to be at that like at that area because he's it just he opens himself too much for a for a potential gank. Now, I like that you're committing to the split push here. It's just a little bit unfortunate that you don't have um you don't have the means to do this properly. Actually, I probably would have just killed him there. Oh wait, you did. Wait, what? You tried to eat him, but Did you miss that? Did he miss his E? He definitely should be warding at red. You are absolutely getting debated by putting this on people way too early. I'm, I, I can't begin to stress just how much this is annoying me that you're not doing this properly at all. That ward on red would have saved him. Now, I mean, him going down to ward that in the first place definitely would have saved him because he would have seen someone there by the time he was done. And this is what's making it frustrating. That's a Lee Sim with Eclipse. Like, it's going to keep running. They're all just running around with these items that would fuck him up. Warwick Eid. I thought he, I thought he did it too late. So I wasn't sure. Or you mean as in Eid, like the effect that stopped him from dashing? Doesn't find that building Titanic. It builds into both Hydras, yes. Fucking that's taking charge right there. Alright, bro. That's a side of that's a side of potato I've never seen before. The dude literally just walked in and said, Fuck it, I'm gonna do the thing. And he did it. He fucking did it. Like he is aware that he is the only strong man on this team, and he is fucking putting his dick on the table. And I am fucking proud of it. And the problem is, when you're the only strong dude on the on the court... Oh, wait, he landed that. Is that going to kill him? Oh! Alright, bro. Get the tower. No! Fuck Diana! Get the tower! Get the tower! No! Go! Get the fucking tower! Eh! Get the tower! <laughs> God damn it! you got to commit to this play for a fucking win! Well, at least you got 50 gold. You should take that blue buff. As long as someone gets it. But yeah. Body block quick. Hey, a fat boy. Yeah, he is. He's glad. <clears throat> Diana outsmarted him, but Cat was too smart with a pale and small brain play. <laughs> Honestly, you should stay there. And just kill Jin again. Smart man. You've got like... You've 100% got the items to do this. I don't even think Shaka does enough damage to kill you. Although if you keep walking into that poke, it's going to be a bit difficult. I think you went a little too hard in the paint for that. And you did if you'd have done it earlier onto Jin, you might have actually been able to kill him, but now you've wasted your ult too, so this just makes it worse. I do like the idea of forced lane swap, just purely because you actually needed to be like a force on the other side of the map to make life easier for you. Oh lordy. Okay, that still results in a kill, so I'll let you have it. Yeah, Shaco had flash. That was awkward for me. He could have just walked out the other way and been fine. 
Man, I swear that E is trolling sometimes. I thought he connected there. I'm praying that you actually build Black Cleaver this game, because if you don't, I'm going to be mad. Like, you have such a good lead, and you do so much damage, like, I don't see why you wouldn't build this item. Like, you need it. Maybe I'll pick up Urgot for a bit of fun. Maybe I should. Be the be the walking death mobile. And then maybe when I'm done, I'll actually teach people how to aim that ulti. For the love of God. If you could do all of this without lock camera and landing your R, you would hard carry every single game. Like, this is actually what taking charge of the map looks like. You're actually doing a bang-up job. Wait, Lee's alive in there. You're aware Lee is alive behind you, right? Oh, he's still there. What the fuck? He's on like two health. Why is he still there? You should have ate that earlier. Nah, I just think you're fucked. <laughs> he's just sustain he's just out sustaining. By the queue. Oh, you don't have queue up, damn it. Can nobody go through walls? No. I think it's only very small walls you can go through. Actually, wait, can it? No, I don't think it can. Can he? Hang on. No, it doesn't. No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. It does not cross terrain at all. No, I'm wrong. It does not cross terrain at all. There's it. Urgot and another ability are good. That, wait, wait, wait. Why did you build QSS? What? What? Why did you build QSS? Warwick's not going to fucking kill you during that. What? What? At least you built Black Cleaver, so I'm proud. But why the hell did he build QSS? Galio. Galio. Yeah, that's the one. Hello, Maul of 4500. How you doing, man? Welcome. Is Mad of Jin of Shaco Box Fear? No, I think he actually just. Maybe Shaco Fear, but that's not enough to fuck him up. It's not going to kill him. Like, and what even is the point? Like, you, even if you take a little bit of CC, it's not going to kill you. If he was worried about that at the beginning of the game, he should have gone um, uh, Legend Tenacity. Which would have been infinitely better than Legend Bloodline. Now I'm just mad. Wait, did put... Wait, 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 wait. 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 <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> did, he, did, did he activate Purge next to the... <laughs> I think he did. <laughs> I 100% think he did. He 100% activated W next to the fucking next to the thing and attack moved past the plant. <laughs> oh, potato, why? First time a friend told me you were the man to learn from. That friend of yours is a very smart dude, and you should uh, thank him. But no, nonetheless, welcome. Definitely, I am definitely the man that your friend was talking about. He did take tenacity. No, he didn't. He took the bloodline. <clears throat> Pacho, that's a red icon down there. Pacho. Pacho, I will hurt you. He took the lifesteal one. It's right there. I can see it. <laughs> I can see it with my eyes. It's right there. He did not take tenacity. He should have taken tenacity. He definitely should have taken tenacity. Baron with no vision, enemy team still up. Look... No vision insinuates that neither side has vision generally. Now, I want to just make this clear, right? They, the only vision they used when starting this was Ash's E, right? They, no Lee is bot side. Last stand also gives tenacity. Does it? Hang on. No, you, no, it doesn't. You're thinking of unflinching. Last stand does not give tenacity. Last stand gives a damage buff based on how low your health is. Yeah. 
you are thinking 100% of unflinching. Unflinching is the one that gives you more tenacity the lower your health is. Now, back to the point. They see Lee Sin bot side while this is going on, so they're fine to go ahead with this Baron. Given how strong Urgot is, committing to Baron is definitely the, like, the play here. I'm just, I'm so surprised that, like, they're actually going for it. Like, everything about Potato is, it's like a different person is here. Obviously, their jungler didn't go for the, wait, where is their jungler? Their jungler's in base. Holy Moses. Everything about this play is wrong. Just leave. Just run. Just run. It's over. You've got it. Your fucking jungle is in base. Their jungler is bot lane. No one came mid. I don't even know what happened. I don't even know what the fuck's going on here. All I know is that everyone is in the wrong and Potato is somehow a god at this game. So, you know what? Fine. Fine. Have it your way. I I'm, I'm allowing it. I'm letting this ride. I'm going to see how this goes. <laughs> the lock camera is really still... It's still killing me internally, Potato, but at the very least, you're doing the job. Lee macro, split push while the enemy does Baron Kappa. What about Nunu's macro? Fucking sit in base while your team does Baron Smile. Oh, everyone's doing it wrong today. Junglers don't even know what's up. Oh, the frames. Make it stop. All right. Yeah, there's no hard feelings, Pacha, mate. I'm just, uh, just doing me job. I'm reminding you what the right way to go is. That's a dead clone. No, if you flashed... No, 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 no! If you flashed into him and used Gordrigger, that was free! Shit! Double shit! If you flashed into them and used Gordrinker while you're, uh... What the hell is the point in taking Gordrinker if you're not going to use it to heal, by the way? Either way... If he flashed into them, used Gore Drinker, and then ultied the Diana, he would have won that. Instantly. So when this play was going on, right? Should he go base and buy He definitely should, but they're in such an awkward spot right now. He can't even back in the spot without getting caught out. That's what makes it even worse. He's in such an awful spot. Fucking Brand's dead again. Sag. But yeah, when this happens, right? You 100% should flash into them with your shield on here, and... 100% just kill the, the Jin. Sorry, not the Diana, the Jin. I thought the Diana was the low one here, but it was the Jin. So if you flash in onto the Jin, use Gore Drinker and ulti him, it's a free win. But yeah, at the very least, this fight actually turns out better than it could have, just purely because like everyone commits to trying to kill you. But yeah, there's no point in going for Gore Drinker if you aren't going to chance the, uh, the ability to actually sustain off of that item. And that is 100% one of the situations where it would have been a good idea. Now, don't get me wrong, the play is risky, but that's the whole point of taking Gore Drinker. It's to make risky plays in 1v2 situations and regen all your health back from that whilst being ahead. But I'm still really, I'm not sold on this item. Selling the Doran Shield. Okay, I understand the Ravenous Hydra. Don't get me wrong. But I don't understand why we're going for the QSS item. Or completing it, for that matter. Everything about this is confusing to me. If you were so worried about the about the uh, perceived uh, damage that you were going to take from them... Yeah, but what's a Warwick going to do to him? I said, if, okay, I guess that he is the perceived carry of the team. But that Warwick is not going to do enough. Like, there's not enough damage coming in in most stages of the game, right? It will allow his team to get back into this fight without too much trouble. I think on his own, with everything that he has, he would be able to live through most of this. And plus, Warwick's not even going for him. As, as shown. Stop him from being Urgot. You asked, I answered. I don't... I, I feel like it was not as much of a chance because... Well, A, I don't think anyone's smart enough to understand that he is the carry here. But the other thing that's confusing to me is that, like, even if he was the perceived carry of this team, building tanky, generally, with the items he has, would have actually done him more than enough. Surely. Unfortunately, they don't have the minion wave to Oh! Okay! That's a free mid inhibitor. 
Only problem is the rest of his team's low. I can't see anything. You you just killed yourself by going forwards here. I say if you don't ulti one of them soon. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, God, Potato, please just aim your ult. Oh. This is this is why the game went to that far. This is why. Thank you, Egg, for the follow, which I love. My Gordrinker was V-Clutch there. I mean, look, Gordrinker did some stuff for you, but I, again, this is not enough for me to say that it's it's worth taking. It's just it's such an awkward item build, bro. I feel like if you went just a stand... Uh, yeah. Look, I'll, I'll live with the Gordrinker, right? But the QSS, it should have just built tanky. If, if you just built tank items from here, you were safe to go. I would have felt so much better about this. What's the point in having QSS and not using it in fear? See, this is the problem. Like, everything that he's done here is just really awkward. Titanic Hydra is better. Not entirely. Now, I have a few gripes about the new Titanic Hydra. Just purely because the passive it gives is good, but you need about 3k HP to make the best use of it. And he don't, they don't have that. They actually don't have... He actually doesn't have this health pool to make use of it. A lot of that is attributed to his item build problem, which again, we've been there. But yeah, it's not not enough. So the thing with Ravenous, though, Ravenous gives one of the highest spell haste amounts in the game. And that's great, but not for Urgot. <laughs> because your W doesn't have a cooldown, so it doesn't matter. And the ulti is like, what, four, 50 seconds? As it is right now? So it's not like huge. But yeah. Potato, I can assure you, wherever you are now, it's not where you need to be. Just clear this wave and you'll be fine. Yoink. When I build on a Lowry, I usually end on 4K. Should I go Titanic Hydra instead of Ravenous or DD when it's late game? Yeah. Uh, see, this is the issue, right? When you want to build for Illaoi, the big thing is that you want you need the CDR no matter what to be able to do all the things that you that you want to do on this character. Titanic Hydra doesn't give uh, like a lot to that uh, to that playstyle at all. It just gives something that like augments with your health, and that's okay. But that doesn't give like it doesn't give a lot, right? So when you're trying to make this decision, a lot of it really just leans down to. Can I actually make the best of this situation by building X item, Y item that synergizes with Titanic Hydra? And if so, like, am I going to be the tank? Am I this? Am I that? Am I going for it? Why did you go for that ulti? That's such a fucking risk. You got to hang on to your ult, man. Like, you at least go for the guarantee on people that need to die. Like, there's just no need. Well, I was not having any wards for the pit itself is a bit scary, but I mean, it's only one... Mount, Mountain Drake, so it's not going to be the end of the world. I feel like instead of the dragon there, you could have forced them to go mid just to take this off from you. I just realized you used your QSS and I've got no clue as to why. I don't know what that flash was for, but it was not for what you hoped it was for. Alright, Crab Man, you going to get this? Hey, That's a Baron. That is 100% mid and Baron. Like, come on. One of the two has to go. Man, you are feeling yourself this game, huh? Look at you typing in chat. He's not fucking getting away. He can't be too much for that. Woof. Woof. Look at him. Look at him. Barking up this game. Imagine they go base now and reset. Please don't make me think that. Please don't make me believe that's actually what happens. You wouldn't be surprised. Okay, no. It's okay. They're going mid. It's okay. The problem is they don't have a wave. Because their wave got instantly cleared before. Just go for the tower. You're the tank here. You can do this. Just go for the... No, stop trying to snipe people with your goddamn ult. Just fucking shoot the tower. Thank you. 
Fuck! Now his alt's down! Shit! That was like the best thing for it though. It's made for just killing everyone else. Okay, we got it. We got it in here. Oh no! No one blocked for the ash! Oh god, Warwick missed his alt. Oh my god, what the hell is going on in this game? <laughs> no one blocked for the ash, dude! What the fuck? Everyone just part of the Red Sea! Oh shit! Yeah, just War Baron. War Baron! No! What are you doing? Go back there! Fuck this lock camera shit! Ward Baron! Ward the Baron! You should have warded the Baron! It's bad enough that everyone's getting caught in the river! Oh, sweet lord. By the way, if you wanted a time to use Gore Drinker, that was it! That was literally it! That was the one time to use Gore Drinker, dude! What the fuck?! What is the point in having Gore Drinker if you're not going to use it? Ah! You wound me, Potato. You wound me. At least he used QSS. On what? This is the other question. What the fuck did he use it on? One thing I like to do on Ergot is flash on the second ult for the AoE. It's good, yes. It's a good plan. Assuming you land it, it's a good plan. <laughs> if you if you don't land it, then uh, yeah, it can't help you there. But uh, if you land it, yeah, fucking sick. No worries. No worries. No worries at all. Oh, hang on. I don't know. What is hitting him with the ulti going to do there? I look down for a second to check my phone, and I look up, and suddenly there's inting going on. For the love of Christ. If you're going to be this close into the fight, just use the gore drinker. Why did you even... What, why are we diving there? You literally can just let the wave go into their base, and then just ward Baron, and just go... Eh. Isn't there always inting going on? Look, that's not the point, man. We're trying to avoid that... Pro oh, for fuck's sake. Here we go again. You and Now you don't have your ult for, like, the one time it's you... Wait, what? The screen lagged and suddenly Diana's dead. Fuck it. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Look, I get that you hate being feared, but this is... Uh, a Has no one hit a skill shot this game? Well, that's a free kill. I guess this is how low elo games go. This is a, it's just a strange game, bro. No one's just no one's hitting a single fucking skill shot, and it's murdering me. That ash arrow that was missed, like close range. Oh. Also, if your whole plan was the life steal tank, why are you not going elixir of wrath? Silver has better quality games than God. I mean, to be fair, ta uh, taco potato has. <laughs> is, I think he's. I think this is silver one. But I can't tell you for sure. I can't remember. Everyone everyone in this queue is either Silver 1 or Gold 4. There's no in-between, I think. I think maybe one person Silver 2. But that's like the thing. Those point black guys can be tricky to hit. Yeah, look. I understand you struggle with it too. Look, man. If you're going to get poked like this, Gold 4 according to the VOD listing. There you go. Glad we sorted that out. Gordrika! Okay, good. He used it. Okay, he hit it. Kill him. Good. Now move forward on to the next one. Holy crap, stick! This is actually happening. Quick! No, don't hit that! Oh sh! That's when you turn off purge, bro. <laughs> I can't believe you actually still got that kill. He doesn't turn it off. No, he doesn't turn it off if there's a fight happening. Oh my god! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Okay, good. He only turns it off if there's, like, no reason to fight, apparently. Diana still makes sure you go back to give the kill a slow dog. That's the thing. Like, he literally slowed himself on the pl on the plant. Like, it was right there. 
This video was recorded yesterday. When you say wooden proc hydro, do you mean in the sense that, um, do you mean in the sense that uh, it's a ranged ability only? Because that was changed when uh, all items were reworked. <clears throat> hydro now procs for everything. Well, that's game. That's why the game is 48 minutes long. That's, that's it right there. I don't understand why you didn't just block the fucking Jin R. Why, why not just block the R? Your full health, bro. Like, what the fuck? It, just, just block the R. Just block the R. You know the angle it's coming from, and you stand up. Ah! Uh... Like, you can save everyone on your team here, and the fact that Jin actually steals Baron with the art, oh, like, dude, come on, bro. Come on. Come on, bro. They actually let the Jin steal it. You don't have to justify it. All you have to do is block it. We had the body block. That was your job! There's only one angle it's coming from, bro. You just stand there. You saw the third shot, dude. That's how you know where to stand. I'm so mad. Hang on. I gotta just answer a message quickly. Do you die in this without using Gore Drinker? Yes, you do. You use it very late. What a surprise. The worst part, right, is that not only, like, would you say you have to body block it, he's literally Urgot with an elixir of iron. He has bigger size, and he actually just managed to not foresee and block that ulti. Cool. Why is it like this, chat? Why? Why is this Shaco split pushing? Well, he's dead now. Why is Ashmit? Look, I don't understand what's going on in this game, bro. I really wish I had the slightest clue of what was going on. What the hell is Katarina's build? Full on hit. Sweet Lord. <clears throat> How could he dodge Jin's old insane micro? <laughs> But yeah, Morlo, if you were asking about, like, why, um, like, ranged characters can proc Hydra now, that was changed in 10.23. <clears throat> if that's what you were asking about, this has been a doable thing since 10.23. If it doesn't proc altogether now since a recent patch, I couldn't tell you for sure. But yeah. That's a free kill. E him. Okay, fine. Stop. Why do you do this to yourself, man? There's a bug where Ergos W wasn't proccing. I think it got fixed this PBE a week ago. Oh, um... I, would it have gone in on 10.24? Maybe it's not. I couldn't tell you for sure, actually. I've not checked. If it's not in the 10.24 notes, maybe it's in 10.25. In which case, then, this build is actually not working if, to its full extent, which would suck. But unfortunately, wouldn't be the reason he's losing. So, don't give him false hope, chat. Don't give him false hope. <laughs> don't give him false hope. But to be fair, like, I'm not going to be mad that he's building it if he's not sure. So, I'm not going to, like, hold that against him. 
Because truthfully, yeah, I think Hydra is doing that. I think it is, but I mean, we can't tell. If he masters over the item, we might find out, but I, uh, we wouldn't even know if it's based purely on the purge or anything else. It looks like it's doing damage. Actually, you know what? Maybe it's not. Hang on. Let's just watch this again. I definitely see the animation playing. I think I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I can't tell. For the love of oh, for the love of Christ, potato. That's the shotgun that's doing the damage. I think not the not the Hydra. I think I think he's right. I think it actually is still bugged. Unfortunately, it doesn't make up for the fact that every single like thing that he's done so far has been in service of missing every ability that he has. But at least he got the top inhibitor for free, despite that. I'm actually really mad that you uh, like not only missed your ulti, but then flashed after him just to make that happen. No mention of it being fixed in 1024. Then it's probably on. It'll probably be in 1025, which is tomorrow. So that's cool. Yeah, that makes sense then. So it probably is just bugged, and that's probably why it wasn't killing anything in top lane just then. Also, you have 4k gold, and I swear to god, if you don't floor in for a fucking tank item, I'm gonna lose it. Gargoyles is uh, not mythic anymore, right? I mean, sorry, it's not, it wasn't changed to mythic, uh, this thing, so you should probably go for that. So we can actually be a tank and not piss me off anymore. <laughs> I'm still so confused about the QSS. Seriously. I just, I don't, I don't get it, man. I just don't get it. I cooked up a Darius game for you, right? Oh, boy. I'm not taking anything until 1025, though. So, don't, uh, yeah. I would have wait. He's QSS and not. He, he has a lot of items that he's not using, my bro. My dude. Please just go. Fuck! He didn't use it again! He didn't use either item and he was feared! <laughs> get, just fucking kill me now. And they got Elder. The enemy got Elder. Fuck me. The enemy did the, 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 the why, why did we force Elder without anyone there? What a fuck, dude. Oh. Keep in mind, there are still seven minutes left. I just want you to be aware of that, chap. There is still seven minutes. Please just... Uh, honestly, now I kind of want him to sell the Hydra to get the, th <laughs> to get the right item. <laughs> They got Baron off that too. They have Baron and Elder, dude. You are fucked. Oh, God. CS is actually really good despite this too. Like, he's actually been around the map for the most part to do a lot of work here. Fuck me. This is a gutsy effort, dude. This is quite the effort. But I'm just sad now because now you have a bugged item and two items you're not even using to full extent. I, I kind of want you to sell them and just rebuy proper items. You can't fight alone here, by the way. You have to group. Like, the enemy has Baron and Elder. Unless you, like, literally catch someone out while being grouped when they're not, you're not going to win this game. He has three bad items. He has two bad items per se. He has one bugged item. Ravenous Hydra is good, but it's broken. That's the problem. So it doesn't actually work properly. Gore Drinker is not a good item for Urgot generally because of this exact issue we're running into right now. And the QSS item that he has is not working particularly well is because of just everything that's going on. So, rip. Or it's 10.25. Tomorrow. Well, at least Warwick flashed away from you. See, the other thing there is that if he has a Spellblade proc, he can actually just shed through the wave pretty well. Are you base racing? Are you fucking base ra- Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Are you actually trying to base race against people with Baron? Bro?
my man, this is why you click on other places of the map to actually see where the fuck you're going. You're trying to click the map with your locked camera. I, I'm in pain. I am in God tier amounts of pain watching that. He actually was trying to click on a minion on the map that he couldn't see properly whilst using the mini map. Everything hurts, bro. Just everything fucking hurts. Sometimes I get worried that he's just going to actually just, like, shred the thing and just not get anything from it. How is Hydra bugged? It doesn't work on Purge. So, the it, the animation plays, but it does no damage, apparently. One time in the universe where Gordrigger was going to work for... Why don't you have Triumph, bro? If you have Triumph there, you kill... You stay alive! Fuck! The waves coming into your base, they are still alive. Yeah, Death Dance and Triumph would have actually just done so much more for winning these fights too. It fuck it, it hurts, bro. This is going to get nasty. I can feel this going horribly wrong and it's actually like making me very nervous. Shit, dude. Both teams could win now in a very uncomfortable way, yeah. Hang on a second. I need to go back. I'm going to answering important messages. So we're trying to force the Elder Drake again, right? This is the other thing. We're trying to force the Elder Drake again. And... This is such a nasty... Use the Gore Drinker! Why do you keep using it so late? Who did you ulti at? I think that's the, that's the end there. I feel like this entire problem here just purely comes down to you need to change your build at the end of the game. Oy. What a disappointing ending that was. Warrior getting that win, how is this fair? Look, that's a tough one, eh? That is a fucking tough one. 
At this point, it's best to sell boots for another legendary. Truthfully, I needed him to sell like two of his items and just get something else out of it because it just came out from it. Oh, look who finally turned up. So in my DMs, there is a potato that is alive. Potato. Hang on. Oh, he gonna get it. He gonna get that roasting. What about we rewatch this? I am not rewatching this pain, dude. No fucking way. No fucking way. Thor would have been better than Deadman. Look, I would have just preferred that by the mid game we had a very different item build happening, and that's the the big thing. That's the big problem here is that like there is just so much that happened here that we have to sort out. So I need. So what we know is that Potato is on his way. And while that's happening, I'm going to read this and cry. Uh, oh boy. 28, 11, 14, dude. He still maintains 7 CS per minute despite it being an almost 50 minute game. I've got to give him a little bit of credit for that. I'm getting the compliments out of the way so that when he gets here, he just gets the full roast, right? So just, just between us, chat, you know, just, yeah. So, yeah. You're worried about a four minute queue now, dude. I get like 10 minute queues in normals. Don't fuck with me. Man. Oh, yes. I'm just so mortified, dude. Ugh. Everyone stop playing League. Look, preseason doesn't really attract a lot of people. <laughs> people always take breaks during preseason. And in December, like, people go on holidays and all that shit. It's normal. It's not the worst thing. People will come back to being addicted sooner or later. It always happens. Once had a 40 minute queue because I was playing with a friend who had low priority. Blech. That's my answer. Blech. I don't play Urgot, but I feel like Divine Sandra would have been the better mythic choice as well. Look, like, I, I went over this at the beginning of the game, but I'm going to go over it again when Potato gets here because he says he's loading up. There he is. Potatoes have arrived totally on time. I'm so glad that we wasted my discussion channel spamming you 27 times per second just so that you could not be here. You suck. But yeah, don't forget the DM spam. Yeah, I sent him a few as well. That was the sad part. <laughs> hey, either I sleep heavier than I thought. Oh, my phone is I did not play notive sounds. That's horrible. TBH's brand was terrible. Look, the brand has 20 deaths. Like, that. this is a very, like, this is a very horrible game. Let's be honest. But yeah, let's go over it from the top. So, the first thing's first. Uh, I'll, fuck it. I'll be nice. There, there were some positives to this game. You 100% pulled it out. Like, you definitely tried your hardest in this game, and there were a lot of good moments where you just appeared on the map when necessary and took objectives with your team. That is a proud moment. You also managed 7 CS per minute despite it being a 50-minute game. This is a pretty fucking good slog for a top laner who had to be everywhere else on the map. For the most part, your duels, like in early game and handling in the jungle, were actually pretty good, but... As the time passed, it got a little bit funky, and we're going to get to that in a sec. But yeah, there were some good moments, and Urgot is definitely a potential carry pick for you in the future. However, if you want that to be the... Wait, there's a night mode. It doesn't even fucking work. What the hell is the point of the night... Oh, there's a night mode, and it works! Oh my god, I'm so happy. Anyway, um, um, back to the point. If you want to succeed on this character, we really have to fix up a few things. Praise night mode, yes. So, I have to, like, just make this abundantly fucking clear, right? First things first, the item build has to go. I don't care what you think, like, is going to work for you here. You did not utilize this item build at least once 
where I would have said, yep, fucking cool. And now I'm mad, mad for it. And now I want you to change it. Now, that said, this build is like the lowest priority of the, of the item builds you could have gone. And I'm going to give you some like very obvious things you need to do and remember. In every build that you go, Black Cleaver is core, no matter what. Yes, not to mention also Ravenous Hydra is still bugged. So you actually don't get any benefit from this until next uh, patch, apparently. Now, if you want better items to use, I sincerely recommend going a Lethality Mix build where you go Prowler's Claw, Black Cleaver, and then tank items. Or you go Divine Sunderer, Black Cleaver, tank items. They're the choices that you roll with. They're the main two choices I would believe in and you should roll with. Now, that being said, I don't know what you bought QSS for, but being tankier and having tenacity by default would have fixed that, which leads me to your next problem. Your runes did not benefit you this game at all. At all. Go Triumph, go Legend Tenacity, and just stick with it. And then for secondaries, go fucking bone plating and overgrowth. So that your health value like winds up enough to the point where you can actually buy Titanic Hydra. Plus tank items. And be good for it. That's where the difference is going to be made. That's where all the goodness comes from. Now... The only other issue I had during... Uh, with like On a micro level was your ultimates. You do not need to fire your ultimate like the American Sniper. Why not conditioning over bone plate? Because you have to do well in lane phase 2. What do I think about this? I don't care for statistic sites. I, some of the things they provide are actually useful, don't get me wrong. But I don't care for it personally unless I actually need to consult a like wider range of things. Like I know what works and what doesn't. And I know that's where the stats come from. But when you're comparing pros to like average players it doesn't always work out the best and that's why you have to be very careful with these sites i had this discussion with mobilytics people a long time ago and they uh they proceeded to ban me because apparently it didn't hold water the fact that like you can have all the stats in a vacuum possibly but it will never work on a game to game uh like premise and that is why the shit always goes wrong when you try to discuss it on player to player things not everyone will perform the same way as you see in the stats. That's always the biggest gripe with it, and it's never going to be perfect. But anyone that believes that stats are perfect is literally just preaching. It doesn't make sense otherwise. Now, back to the point. Yeah, conditioning over bone planning, you always go bone planning because it's better in lane every step of the way. Hey, is NGA doing, mate? I'm alive for the most part. Trying to keep that uh, that alive thing going. That's why I'm streaming more. Got to Got to build the fan base up, make you all love me again. Nowadays, they removed the game-specific GPI, so I guess you approved right after the Fuck off! Did they really? <laughs> oh, don't you just hate being right? Smile. Anyway. Point being. Item builds in general that you were working with, they have to really, like, change overall. How do you feel about Syndra? Still a busted character, dude. Only general GPI of a minimum of 20 games now. What a fucking surprise. What a surprise. I can't, I can't, see, that's the, I can't stress this enough. Like, there's just, there's too much room for error and deviations in a statistics vacuum that you just can't, like, just put it out there and say it's perfect. You just can't. But no one ever believed that. They all just think, oh, that's a fucking statistics. Finally, I can talk again. You asked for it, you got the ban. Actually, it's five games. That's not any better. Syndra Oriana will always be good, basically. Looks you struggle right now due to the mid lane meta and just items that don't really give her haste. They exist. But the character will always be strong in its own way. It's not because of the items. It's because it kit's just busted for it. Is it 5 or 20? Or is it 5 for Lolalytics and like 20 for Mobilytics? In which case, that's still hilarious. Now, vision. Macro stuff. I'm actually quite stoked about the fact that you turned up to a lot of fights in the mid-game. I'm actually really stoked about that. Like, there were a lot of good moments where you actually turned up and put wards down despite that and that really helped out i'm totally cool with that and i'm like totally down to see it happen more often where are you you're on the far left but yeah only two control wards purchased over the course of the game does not help you 
And yes, I get that you were ahead on items for the most part, but that doesn't like that doesn't seal up the fact that you're going to need the vision over the most parts of the game. And that still means you have to place wards generally around objectives. It always has to happen, bro. You can't just forget. Also, if I ever see you like try to click on the map without looking at the map ever again, I'm going to lose it. How would Alawi do in the cap because I ain't playing Vega and that Alawi can work. The problem is you have no hard CC to do with her ultimate, so you're going to get ruined. Plus, she has Grievous Wounds on her ultimate, and you will get done at level 2. So be careful with that. Show them that rune page. It's Pog. I mean, this is a standard Darius rune page. I don't know what you want from me. Even then, like, Conqueror is too hard to build on Darius by default. I'm not going to show this off. Is there a chance specific GPI? I don't know. Wouldn't tell you. Wouldn't be able to tell you for sure. Average name. I'm not saying anything until you heal my bank account. It's broken. It's dying. Please save it. <laughs> anyway. Um, the preseason, I, for some reason, had to get to the lethality. My mind was like, oh, I can't really go to the ADC mythics because my AS is wasted stat, even though Kraken is funny. And I forgot that lethality is useful. See, I, lethality is good for it. Funny enough, though, Kraken is actually hilarious to build on Urgot, and it actually does work. And I would consider it, personally. So, not really, like, worried about the, like, the state of how that's going to go, but as a general sort of note, I would just seriously consider just re, like, re, like, just redoing that entire build. All of it. As long as you keep Black Cleaver as core, you will be okay. That's really the only item Urgot needs, because you will just do shitloads of damage at every stage of the game. Um... Now, I went over this during most of the game before, but where like where you're trying to be on the map at most of these stages of the game is actually going quite well, but you can't start the objective without vision, and you have to be able to body block your way through a lot of these by default. This is the second VOD, by the way, Splat. When would you consider, like, what should you be looking for as opponents to consider Kraken? Um, truthfully, if he just doesn't need, if he needs, like, a more consistent damage source rather than just bursting people down. Oh! Come get some! Oh! Thank you for the five gifted subs! Mr. Average Name. Gifted the sub to Plockter, Potatoes, Tivix, Vegathron, and Son of Sparta. Welcome. Come get some. You're all awesome. By the way, over the Christmas holidays, I'm going to actually work on some new alerts, because I feel like it should be a good idea. Come get some. Thanks for the strangely weed Come get some. emote, too, which I love. Hey, don't compress my newspaper, man. Come get some. You got toilet paper. What's the come get some from? It's the bro life voice line in uh, League. But I'm not sure if I'm going to get DMCA'd for it. So I'm trying to, I'm not sure if I should keep, if I should uh, change it out. If you need long time subs to record some again, I'm down for it. I'm going to keep my Oyrex though. I might change in some new ones. Because I think we have space for it. So I might uh, look at some long-time subs that haven't done it and uh, put them in. But I have to figure it out. I'll figure it out. So now I'm subbed again. Welcome back, Plockter. You and your bronze bin. Four months going strong. As far as I know, Ride is very sure. I see, I'm aware of that too, but I just want I want to just be extremely safe. Extremely. Plus, I, I'm going to miss my tier 3 uh, sub sound. I really like that sub sound. I really, really miss it. And it really bugs me that, I'm, that I might have to get rid of it. Anyway. Potatoes, go watch the rest of this VOD. It'll give you a lot to work with. The <laughs> haha, are you serious? Yeah, basically that. <laughs> Makes me laugh every time. I love that line. It's actually, like, the best line that's ever existed. Everything about, like, the the JJJ in that line is just perfect. Side question about Urlok, Bill. Is it both Hydra items are broken until next one? I think, um, I think Coloss... Uh, I think Titanic Hydra still works. But I can't tell you for sure. As far as I know, the, uh, people saying that Ravenous Hydra plays the animation, but it doesn't play anything else. Like, so it doesn't actually do anything else. Like, the actual item works. Wouldn't all the voice lines in the game trigger the automatic detection system? Well, see, I think so. But I think that's why I'm safe for League. But I think because it's on the Twitch API rather than the in-game thing, it might be a problem, but I couldn't tell you for sure. As for my Jonah Jameson line, I couldn't tell you how that's going to go. As much as I wish 
it was going on. Otherwise, it would be very tough. <sighs> I didn't know that it was bugged. I knew there was a bug for a different interaction with Twitch Ultimate, though. So, yeah, as far as I'm aware, apparently, yeah, the Ergot, uh, Ergot W and Ravenous Hydra don't work. And some of the newest stuff, JJJ is a podcaster like Alex Jones. I thought you would like that. Oh, that sounds sick. I gotta, I gotta play the new Spider-Man games. I've got the, I've got the other one here, the, um, the PS4 one, and then I gotta get a PS5 and play Miles Morales. I heard that's great. I heard it's a good game. Ooh. But yeah. Anyway, thank you, Potato, for your vod. 